Okay, so we're going to measure the temperature in the range 200 degrees to 1500 degrees of a Mars gas. So we've got the optical, sorry, the thermal camera here, uh, about here, yeah, and uh, yeah. Well, there's an interesting thing. It's less than 200 degrees according to that. Yeah. What? Let's try with the manual. No, 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 no. I, I want to put change the calibration. Is that okay? So, wait, no, leave it running, leave it running. Don't turn it off. No, no, no. <laughs> turn it off. Listen. That's all my lesson. Okay, I'm going I'm to change this to. Is that okay? Just a little bit. 150 to 900. Can you see anything? Okay. Okay, there you go. So it's b below 250 degrees. No. The temperature is 70 degrees centigrade. 70 degrees. Do you see the jet there? So the hottest part, let's see. Okay. I'm going to come around here. So that's why you can put your hand through it, because it's actually not hot at all. <laughs> Yeah, so here's the jet. There's the thermal imaging camera. Can I, can I move this over? And the, the end of the jet is, well, we'll be able to look at the temperatures later because it records the file. I'm going to go right up here. Okay. 120 degrees. 112 degrees. Uh, I want to rotate it around. Can, can you just tilt the uh, screen so that, George, can you tilt the screen to me so I can see it a little bit better? I'm going to focus with my nose. So, the hottest part in frame. Okay, can you hold this and I'm going I'm to go and make that bigger. Uh, Oh, I need to move this out of the way. Okay. So. Okay, so. The hottest part of the flame is 72 degrees. 70, now if I get closer. Uh, okay, if I'm really close, uh, we're seeing 125 degrees. Right there, so you can see the hottest bit is a little bit out from uh, the tip of the blue flame. Just like you would expect with a gas flame. 122 degrees. Um, this is amazing because we thought it was going to be a lot hotter. Okay. As you move it away. Right, so can you hold it there, please? And I'm going to put the focus on it. I want to see this bit to here. Yeah. I mean, I have to say, even there, it's, it's, uh, it's, this just feels like a warm cup of tea. I'm putting my finger on here. It's like I've just, just made a nice cup of tea. 
<laughs> and it's not very warm and I'm able to put my finger on there and in fact I'm going to hold it on there for a while there you go so I can hold it on for as, about a second um, a little bit down like that, that like that that's where I, so I can see the hottest part of the flame right there is around about 107 degrees I'm just going to focus this in a bit okay so you can see the tip here you can even see my finger there my finger's warmer than part of the nozzle <laughs> absolutely crazy look you can see my finger is warmer than the nozzle and the hottest part of the flame is about here which is 118 117 degrees so yeah now it really isn't hot George <laughs> It's absolutely frightening. You can see your hand. You can. Uh, yeah, yeah. Look, 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 look. Move it out a bit. I'll put it in focus. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. I'm going to. I'm going to. But there's my hand. I'm going to put it through the flame. It's slightly warming my fingers. Look, my fingers are a little bit warm. You can see that on there. I'm going to do this on camera. Right, ready? There's my hand, oh, yeah, there's the flame, yeah, yeah. right? And we go like that. See, a little bit of warm on my fingers. A little bit of warm on my fingers. Oh, A little bit of warm. Look, I've got glowy fingers. Glowy fingers. <laughs> glowy fingers. <laughs> okay, so. All right, so then what I want to do is see what happens when we do a piece of metal, okay? So, do you want to get some titanium there? I'm going to put this in focus. Okay, so. Crap, I wasn't recording that, guys, but I was on here. I'm going to start recording it now, okay. So can, can you come back? I want to do that again, that test again, okay? Okay. Right. No, hold it like that. There, the, there, so I can see the nozzle. Hold. No, don't put the. I don't. No, I want to put my hand in front of it. So I've got my hand here. I've got my hand here. I'm recording this on the thermal imaging camera. This is a Mars gas. It's not so hot on the end here. I can see. I'm. I'm comfortable in touching that. It's like. <laughs> it's like my tea's going cold, because it's. It's only like about 80. 80 degrees here. The end of this. And here's, oh, that was hot. <laughs> Don't stick your finger permanently in the flame, is what I advise. There we go. You know, th this is much less uh, painful than putting it on the gas stove. Okay? If my hand falls off tomorrow, then there's a problem. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's what we were doing there. Right, now I, I want you to move back because I don't want the bits to go in the thermal imaging camera. Okay, there. And I'm going to change this so it's in focus. So, we are now going to look at some titanium plate. Can I have my goggles, please? Oh, yes. Safety first, people. <laughs> Everyone else has got glasses. Look, glasses, 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 glasses. I haven't got glasses. So, there's a piece of titanium plate, and we are going to put that in, in the jet. And we're going to see if we need to change the uh, thermal imaging sensor, because this is currently set to... Uh, minus 20 to 200 range, which is the lowest range the camera will do. Okay, let's see what happens here. He's going to put the plate in. Go on, okay. go on. And there you go, the temperature is going up, but the titanium is glowing intensely brightly and it's going out of range now, so but this is incredibly, it's burnt a hole through the titanium so the temperature has not exceeded 250 degrees. This is as expected. <laughs> this is why I wanted to do these thermal tests. Right, we're going to switch ranges which means I need to stop the recording and you'll be able to study these uh, bolometry data later. Uh, this is what EVOs can do, my friends. This is what EVOs can do. Right, I'm going to go to the 150 degrees to 900 degrees. So we won't see the flame because it's below 150 degrees. Okay, so let's record. 
My fingers are a little bit tingly, I have to say. <laughs> Flame left them a long time ago. Okay, so, here we go. If I get cancer of the hand, you know why. <laughs> right, okay. ready? Okay. We're putting the flame in. No. And it's starting to appear 150 degrees. Right, you've burnt through it yet? Yeah. He's burnt through, he's burning through the titanium and the top temperature is less than 400, or just over 400 degrees. Look, there it is. Super, super bright, glowy, plasmatic effect. Oh, 500. It's a plasmatic effect. Yeah but it is not at its melting point. It is melting the metal, but it is not at its melting point. I don't know how much I can, can you show the piece of metal? There we go, we have lots of holes through our titanium plate. What is going on? What is going on? Hello, infrared camera, thank you very much. Right, have you got, can, can we see if we, if we uh, make tungsten? Tungsten, uh, incandescent. Oh, he can't look. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah, let's let's do. It. I think there we go. That is the titanium plate. Those are real holes. You saw them on the bolometer, and it never went. What was the peak temperature there? Five hundred degrees. This Amaza gas is exactly as expected. Yeah. My fingers are tingly. They're, they're cold, but they're tingly. These are tingly fingers. Strange radiation is here. <laughs> I, I'm absolutely packed full of strange radiation now. <laughs> Probably not the wisest thing I did in life, but there we go. <laughs> okay, you got the, the tungsten? Uh, the titanium? The tungsten, tungsten. Can you show us something interesting? Uh, no, can I do the, the, the tungsten first? I want to see how high okay. tungsten gets when it's vaporizing. Or rather, when I say it's turning to very small particles. This is tungsten, I think. We'll know because it'll get a little bit brighter. Is this is this a two or three minutes? Okay, he said. Is this a welding rod? Like for welding? Maybe Maybe a welding rod. Okay. You simply cannot assume with this family of technology that melting of a substance <laughs> equals the temperature that's required normally to melt it with normal thermal technology. I mean, you've got an energy gain right there. <laughs> right, George? You're not having to heat the, the t titanium up to 1700 plus degrees C to get it to melt. Sure, <laughs> there is no excuse. <laughs> Right, we're still recording this extremely boring thermal imaging thing. Uh, I think maybe I will stop this and we'll start one when we're ready to do the... Uh, are we? Are we ready? No, he's letting the gas uh, pressure build up again. So you've got a vibrator plate in there and it's generating the Amaza gas yes. on the fly. Yes. Okay. So we're just waiting for the pressure to get back up on the generator. On the fly means instantly. Instantly, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, the, the, the one reason I'm in this room doing this happily is because Mr. Amazi looks healthy at 80. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> if there was a real problem, he's been putting his hand through this stuff for a very long time, right, George? <laughs> Every single demonstration and he's doing that. He still has his hands. He still has his hands, yes. <laughs> I have to say, this was completely expected, but it's a little bit weird when you actually see it. And I, how, how did you feel? See, how did you feel seeing that? Uh, as a thermal engineer, I was shocked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it's weird to believe something for a couple of years, but to actually see it in front of your eyes. I mean, I saw it in Suhas Ralkar's lab where the iron started to go soft and sag underwater, and the water wasn't above 80 degrees. Uh, but to see it here with a jet, 
is just astounding, really. Astounding is a word that shouldn't be used until you see something like this. <laughs> that was astounding. <laughs> so this is all real time. <laughs> and we're going to do the measurement of temperature of gas mixes after this. So uh, we have various gas mixes. So this one is like 10% carbon dioxide and a Mars gas 90%. And uh, I'm not sure you would want that. <laughs> How cold was that? It was like 87 degrees at the hottest point. It got to 113 degrees, didn't it? 110. Yeah, that so. Was the, the, the that highest was the highest at the core. At, at the hottest part, the most efficient part of the flaming, yeah. burning. I'm not sure how this thermal camera is calibrated because... Well, it's calibrated to normal hot things, you know. <laughs> Better is it only for you see it's not, okay. solid okay. state yeah, right. uh, spectrum? Or Doesn't matter, we were looking at metal that was melting. Yeah, that's Seriously. Point. <laughs> I mean, the gas you could question. Yeah. I, I wasn't questioning it because I was putting my hand in it. So, <laughs> slowly. Are we ready? Yes. Okay, let me, let me start. I'm going to start the uh, thermal imaging camera again. So it's recording. You will have these files to study at your leisure. Okay, we're ready. Okay. We're starting the flame. Again, when you get the flame in view, you're not going to see it on the thermal imaging camera. So it's not going to appear because you can't see it. Right, so we're going to heat up some tungsten rod right here. Now, I'm going to, I'm going to go behind you so I can see I'm really not scared of this thing anymore, and probably I should be. <laughs> can you, George, can you hold this so that it's right just behind there, behind the... Uh... So just, just hold it so it's just behind the... Yeah, what, look at the teamwork there, what a team! Okay, lower, lower down so it's behind the... That's it, that's it. So I can, I can see the flame on the thermal imaging camera. Don't get it too close to the camera. No, 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 no. we're in focus here, yeah? <laughs> So you can't see it because it's in the range that starts at 200 degrees. So it's 200 degrees to 900 degrees. Ready? Okay. Go for it. This is tungsten. Yeah. Temperature's 195. It's vaporizing at 213 degrees centigrade. Just focus into that. 215 degrees centigrade. This is absolutely crazy. <laughs> Look at that. It's incandescent, but the temperature is 216, 17 degrees. There we go. We are vaporizing tungsten. And the temperature is only 220. This is exactly as expected. Yeah, I think that's a wrap, guys. <clears throat> I just hope that's not thoriated. <laughs> I'm going to go out here for a little while. <laughs> when you get the other flame ready, we switch flame frames. I'm going to keep this camera rolling because I don't want to break in the recording. I am going to stop the bolometer here, though. What was that temperature, George? About 220 at most. To vaporize tungsten. tungsten. The highest melting point metal. There's only carbon that melts of any element higher. At 4,000 degree carbon and this uh, at uh, 3,600 or no. So it's unusual. Absolutely. It will make obsolete all uh, thermal tables uh, and melting point tables. <laughs> this is a moment I wanted to see for quite a while. In my face, proof that you can uh, vaporize and, and cut metals that are like the highest temperature metals possible with something that you can basically hold. I mean, the, the, it's, I, I've had hotter cups of teas than the end of that nozzle. Really, when, when I, you know, this is important to a British man. The, the water has to be 100 degrees when it goes in. Even the hottest part of that flame 
would barely make a good cover. <laughs> Most of it was green tea and temperature, which is 80 or 75 degrees, 70 degrees. Yeah, yeah. So all of those cold fusionistas that uh, wanted to see a, a cup of tea being made, I'm not sure you'd be able to do it. <laughs> really, that's a. Uh, that is an amazing tool. So essentially, you're getting a net energy gain there, aren't you? If you, if you had to raise the temperature of something, that titanium to 1700 degrees. The only escape that may be locally, locally to the thickness of five atoms, you have high temperature, mm -hmm. and otherwise you see nothing. Mm -hmm. That is the only way to escape. But even then, there are more questions than answers. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think we would get a win on this magnitude today, but I. <laughs> the only thing I'm interested in now, right, because this was expected, but it, it, even in my wildest dreams, I didn't believe we'd see it. But okay, you ready? Uh, he already mm -hmm. uh, checked the temperature at two major universities. Uh -huh. and at that time, the temperature was more than 3,300. 3, no, that is the temperature that yeah, tungsten yeah, melts at. No, no. Normally. Yes. So there is assumption. They're making an assumption because the tungsten no, is melting. More than that temperature. They examined the temperature. How? Do you how to understand it? So yes, with very show. I yes. saw a piece of steel turn soft and start to sag in India at around 80 degrees centigrade mm -hmm. underwater. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. Now he may have these people that were testing that. Yes, they, 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 they were they, thinking it should be this temperature, so they were trying to get something no, that made sense. Mean, but, but he yeah, said yeah. those two major universities, yeah. they examined the temperature of the flame yeah. uh, with tungsten and uh, exceed three, uh, about uh, 4,000? He, he said that. So, Listen, maybe. listen, listen, show. I know well, what you, I, I know, know, I know what you're saying. You were, what happened? What happened was, yes. I know, I, and I accept that's what someone <laughs> said. That's what someone said. But the the tungsten, sorry, the the um, the titanium mm. was incandescent bright. Yes. Right. Right. And on the thermal camera, it was two hundred uh, or. 200 degrees. It's glowing like a light bulb. The color temperature is already so high by yes. the eye. Yes, I know, <laughs> but he, he already examined the temperature. Out of so you're saying there's no benefit over a normal technology? Because essentially that's what you're saying. Yes. You're but saying that, the, that their tests prove there's no benefit over normal technology because it just makes the same temperature. So the cutting is the same as a normal oxyacetylene torch. Yes. But, but, but I'm saying mm -hmm. it's not like that. You're getting a net energy gain because you're doing the same work at a much lower temperature. Show, show in India. Listen, show, please. I know, yes. I know this is a shock for you. Yeah, I know. He he calibrated it with our arm hands. We calibrated it. It was getting the right temperature from our hands. The metal was incandescent, and if you were heating that up. あの、さっきも書いてあるのは、社長は今これが間違ってるのの、プリント。はい。これを言ってるでしょ。間違ってる。だけど、彼らが言うのは、低の温度をまず測って、低の温度は、普通にそうが似た位置だから、それは全て一
これを実験してあの今タンク線が溶けるときにここに出てきたのが200何度やったんで彼らはその200何度はあの外国でも見て,見てるんですよそういう現象をだから200何度が正しいと思うっていうふうに言ってるんですけどだから僕言いましたよ社長が有名なメジャー大学で測ったら。うんあのエキシールフォーサウザンもあるあるうんうんだからそれは言いました,た言いましただから言いましただけどまあ彼らが今測ったのは例えば韓国戦が世界で三千うんそうなんですよそうなんですよ、うん、世界共通なのだから溶けてるのに、うん、だからそうですよね社長今までのサイエンスがいやそれそれはいやだから溶ける温度がシャシャ in India Suhas was made able to make titanium はいはいだから Sure. It's the same thing and it's difficult for him to understand, I know, because he's believed something different. This doesn't have an opinion. This doesn't have a view. It doesn't have an ego. Okay? The university told you what they expected. <laughs> He's not right. Mm -hmm. um, he thinks has something wrong. He 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 oh. It measured the water temperature exactly the same as a thermometer. It means it's gaining energy. <laughs> Unimaginably better. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm Between you. No, no, you're, be, you're between the truth and an illusion. Not an illusion, but. It's an illusion he, that he, he believes. He believes that means at yeah. the university, so he, he thinks he's right. I know. You but know. I, can I give you one more piece of data? Sure, What allowed yeah. Suhas Ralkar to spend a million dollars? Listen, listen, please, let me speak. I've listened. Yes. Was he saw underwater? titanium glowing as bright as we saw that mm -hmm. underwater how is that possible if it's at 1700 degrees it mm -hmm. would be boiling the whole thing off it is the same technology this is the best technology version that I've seen of it everything else is consistent everything I've shown you going back to Tesla it's the same thing and I expected this this is why I wanted to do this test But I am still amazed to see it. It measured my, it measured this, measured exactly the same temperature as a K-type thermocouple. This device here measured the same temperature in the water, in the tanks upstairs, uh, as a K-type thermocouple. Exactly the same. It measured the, the, the temperature of the, um, uh, the motors correctly. It measures my body temperature exactly correctly. Everything correctly. Yes. When it's looking at tungsten, so titanium, that is glowing br like a light bulb, it's saying it's only yes. 200 degrees. I believe you are right, but he believes what he so thinks is right. This yeah. isn't a belief. This isn't a belief. It's this. This. I don't need a belief. <laughs> yeah, we just take data, and the data is what I'm looking at. An opinion, it, it, my opinion is that's the data. Now we've got to explain it. Uh, I <laughs> think that this is something wrong. Yeah, he's, no, he, no, he the, the so. contrary is true. This is something right. Yes. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yes. This I isn't know, wrong, this is something right. The reason that this cuts very, very cleanly and efficiently yes. with low input energy yes. is because it's cutting in a different yes. way. It's affecting the electrons. That's the same reason metal falls apart with it. I know. No, no, no. In this case, why he is... Because he has a belief. This is data. He has a belief. <laughs> You know what? We can measure the temperature, which is 60 degrees from the flame using the low temperature, and I'll sit my hand there. And, and if it was hotter, it would burn a hole from my hand. Wait, wait, wait a minute. They have a infrared apparatus which 
This is three and a half thousand euros. No, no, but let let them. Okay. Okay. I'm in the middle of. You're not in the middle of anything. You're seeing something amazing. <laughs> you are seeing something absolutely earth-shattering. Just point at the end of the nozzle. On the end of the nozzle, this is reading 23.8 degrees C. 22.8 degrees. 23. This is a spot pyrometer, laser, laser pointing spot pyrometer. 23 degrees. This is highly inaccurate compared to that. <laughs> Right, he's found the maximum temperature is 180 degrees. I rest my case. It's going to take a little bit of time to get through. <laughs> this is just taking data. It's just taking data. It doesn't have an opinion. No opinion. <laughs> But I expected this. This is why I. This is why I brought this camera and why I brought this computer. Thank you. Because I saw the same thing in India. I saw iron that should melt the co It should melt the lowest temperature of mild steel is like 1380 degrees C. Underwater, the water was not getting hotter than 80 degrees. It was going soft and sagging. It was turning to a liquid state without being molten. You need to get your head around it. <laughs> you are literally seeing history. You are living in history I'm right now. I'm living like It's not broken, it's telling you the truth as well. It's not broken. You can't go and buy one that will give you a different answer. <laughs> that is plus minus 50 percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That's if you measured that, there would be a lot of UV, and that would be EVOs destroying themselves. And, and uh, we probably get a bit of suntan if we use this, just like welders do, because they create weld EVOs, and that creates UV. And that is extremely strange because it was an absolutely textbook uh, incandescent incandescent yeah it's, it's literally uh, as hot as you would imagine it be at the point that it's about to take come apart right and, uh, tungsten was evaporating right in front yeah of or disintegrating and i would imagine that those particles were in the low uh, to mid hundred nanometers they're, they're not good for anyone, but... <laughs> that was uh, actually fine dust. Or yeah. Or well, it, it was going upwards. <laughs> yeah, smoke, yeah. 
which is fine dust yeah, yeah, yeah. nanoparticles mm -hmm. i wouldn't like to eat no 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 but, uh, I'm just, I'm hoping it hasn't got thorium in that rod. <laughs> but my, 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 my feeling is he's 80 and very healthy. Yes. <laughs> it's very reassuring. Yeah, very bright white, uh, not even red or, or any uh, special length. But no, even with the eye, it was as white as white can be, the light, which is what you would expect from a tungsten light bulb. And I have to say, I've said this before, you can make a tungsten light bulb is incredibly white, but it's not turning to vapor or, or dust, is it? Right? No, no. It's not doing that. And we saw that. It was smoky. It was smoky. It was converting tungsten to smoke. Which means it's going past boiling point or something. I don't know. I don't know what it's doing. Tungsten oxide, tungsten whatever. It must be tungsten oxide or tungsten mm. nitrate. Something. <laughs> it's got a collection of thermal sensors now. Check they say the same thing. It will do the same stuff again. Mm -hmm. Hottest hottest okay. temperature is sixty six degrees measured so far. Peak temperature. Peak temperature one hundred and twenty nine. And it's already color temperature about 800 degrees. Max is now 337 degrees. 330 degrees. Maximum temperature is 337, which was what was measured roughly by the bolometer. And by the way, the color temperature over there is is well above 14, 1500 degrees. Yeah, 386. I'm not sure I want to be breathing that, so I'm going to leave. Same, Same temperature, roughly, given the fact that that's a, a much less accurate device. <laughs> Jesus, man. <laughs> Put it there. <laughs> You've got three devices that are all broken. Just today, they happen to be broken today. <laughs> they probably didn't even do anything. Do, do the, the gap, CO2 gap. I'm going to put the temperature range down for this. I think it will be lower than the Amazaga straight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm alive! Going to uh, test 
going to test the CO2 gas <laughs> with the, um, so it's 10% CO2 and a Mars gas. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ha, ha. Pretty damn accurate to my body temperature. This university guys are just were afraid of losing face because they cannot admit that either the device is useless or their physics is useless. <laughs> Simply admitting that something is melting way, way uh, below the mm -hmm, melting mm -hmm. point means that something uh, fishy is going on which they do not understand at all. So mm -hmm. for them it was easier to lie. Oh, they just saw it melting and they said, well, they looked up on the table to see how, how much temperature tungsten and titanium melts and says, it's melting at this temperature. And it's like, yeah. well, how much work did you actually do? <laughs> not a lot. <laughs> or they just reset uh, the calibration curve. Yeah. As the easiest way. You know, we had one accurate broad temperature device here and two other devices independent to our, what we brought and they all measured the same temperature that it was uh, re registering when, when the uh, t tungsten was uh, incandescent sure. within, within ballpark, within the accuracy of the less accurate devices. The, the, the best way is for the calibration is just our palm. Yeah, and well, it's measuring the fact that I'm, you know, spot on temperature, really, w within a few fractions of a degree. Personally, I think uh, uh, this is more, f this kind of test result is more favorable for this company than the university guy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know. This is good news, right? <laughs> I know, but... It's much better. He can't accept... The From three devices, two of which are his, he can't accept what it's saying, and it's the same temperature. Yes, because he, <laughs> he already tested it at the famous university, so... Well, they're wrong. And then the famous please, university please. can wipe his ass. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, yes, uh, let's do this. Yes, with, this so, which gas are we going to do now? Hmm. Is this CO2? Ah, so CO2. Okay. Okay, first this one. Okay. Oh, my gas ninety percent. Okay. Ten gas. Propane ten percent. Yes. Okay. Could you join with him and hold the camera down so I can get the same kind of shot as I had before? Yeah. Okay, so the hottest part of that flame is running at around less than 100 degrees. So, you know, if you ran a car on this, you would need almost no cooling. Okay, it's about the same temperature, actually. Okay. About the same, it got to 100 and something degrees. And he's going to show burning or trying to cut through titanium with this. And it's going up to what's interesting, you can see here, it's just warming it up, like normal sort of thermal temperature. Okay, it's gone out of range, I need to turn it off and switch ranges. Now this is expected because partly you're heating it conventionally. Okay, wait, wait, I need to stop and start this. And we need to switch ranges. This will go hotter. <laughs> Con contrary to your expectation, it should go hotter than, than the Amaza gas. It looks colder, but it's going hotter. I'm not here. <laughs> and this is going to be a big shot for Mr. Amaza, I'm telling you. The fact that the gas with propane will actually cr go to a higher temperature. <laughs> it's going to be a big shock for him, bigger than he's already had. Okay, right, they're ready. Okay. Because this is more conventional heating. Right, so it's not cutting through. It's not cutting through. More than 700. It'll keep going. It'll go up to the temperature of a normal propane gas flame, up to maybe 1200 degrees, I expect, and it still will not cut the metal. Keep going, just keep going. As long as you can, you might need mole grips to hold it. 
I, I will need to switch ranges because it will go out of range again. I will need to switch ranges because it will go out of range again. So get some mole grips so you can hold it. No, no the grips. Yeah. So this, I think... Uh, I, what I will do is I will go... I need to change the range again because this will go over 900 degrees. It's my expectation. It will go over 900 degrees because the gas flame will be similar to a normal gas flame. Because it's, got, it's burning propane in there. Okay, we're going to record this. So this here is uh, going to be um, propane 10% and a Marza gas 90%. Okay, ready. I expect this to get to about 1200 degrees and still not cut through. You see it's not as incandescent, it's been on there a long time, keep going. No hole. The hotter you get, the, the more faster it cools, so it's going to take a bit of time. This is the same titanium we used earlier. And I can say from my eye, if I, if I, it's, from my eye, it's, it's about eight, nine hundred degrees uh, optically looking at it with my eyes it's, it's saturating the camera here so if we keep going we may, may be able to get a bit higher now interesting I think the Amaza gas is taking over because it looks like there's a little bit of distortion in that so it is making the metal go soft look it's making the metal go soft it's bending this might just... Was this, was this bent before? No, it was flat. Okay. Can we try it on a flat area and see if it makes it go soft even though it's not melting through? <clears throat> now I can probably see from the underside if it starts to bend. Didn't I think it? I mean, at 800 degrees, some thermal stress is uh, acceptable. It can be. <clears throat> if you go and get your bolometers, it will exceed the temperature that it ever got to with the ti titanium. で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、
。ああ、同じ。なんで、距離が離れてる、うん。距離離れたら温度低いよ。That's gonna be hot. Still feels. Even though it's quite、yeah, yeah. hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it'll get to 823 degrees. <laughs> The capability of that gas mixture. <laughs> 90% of、uh, miles of gas and 10%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, am I recording? I am recording? Yes, I am. Well, no, because it's not just integrating the, the atoms. Or it, it working between the crystal veins and boundaries, green, green boundaries. Now, what you're seeing here is the difference in, a, in electrical response to the EVOs, in my opinion, than you're seeing in titanium. Titanium has、uh, you know, more chance for reactions to go ahead, so, and the, the electrons, are,、uh, I don't know. I, th I suspect that the fact that this is recording a lower temperature is more the response of the metal's electronic structure to the Amaza gas component. Than uh, the uh, actual temperature of the frame. flame. No, it's an electron phenomenon. <clears throat> yeah, perfect. I don't see a thermal imaging camera. I see someone who's done some fancy graphics and assumed the temperature. <laughs> no, that was come from a camera CCD. I don't see that. What, what is it? No, they're looking at spectral lines and they're assuming the temperature from the spectral line. Look, 307 nanometers, 487 nanometers. No, this is, this is talking about what gas is in what component of the flame. I saw these pictures yesterday. Yes. This is this temperature? That is temperature, and it's only going up to 250. No, I think this is nanometers, is it? Or temperature? Yeah, it, this is the same data we have. <laughs> Which one? We, we, we only saw we only saw temperatures. Look, the hottest. We, we, we were seeing temperatures here, 113 degrees. The bulk of the flame is there's just a little bit here, which is a little bit higher. But none of it's more than 
It's it's peak peak around about 200. これ波長？波長。あ、ほんだらどれどれが温度なんですか？あ、これが温度。いや、これを開いてもらって来られたから。テンプレチャーディスチビューション。テンパレチャー、テンプレチャー。うん。あら、ウェーブですよ。Well, I saw your two barometers, your your spot pyrometers, and and I and and I saw this barometer. And、uh, I, I don't know why they got this data, but but all I'm seeing is this data, and this data is in line with what I saw in India, what I witnessed in India. This the temperature. うん、そう、これまあ見てると思います。So, yes, John Hutchison, he was able to make aluminium go to jelly without getting warm. Yes, I, I know, but <laughs> he, he can't. I know it's difficult. It's going to be. Yeah, I know. I know it's difficult. These are there. On、uh, test results also,、yes. and here the highest temperature is two hundred. But it's not even there, is it? I I don't know why they have this. It says it, overview of combustion flame. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. okay. No, no, no.、Right. This one, this one is the temperature, right? But that is also a temperature. Yeah, this is a wave wave wavelength. Yeah, he, he said. Although I don't see any of these wavelengths here. But but this one. Yes. That is the matter of calibration. Yeah, I think. Two major. Yeah, they probably got their barometers, and they said this melts tungsten. Therefore, the hottest part of the flame must be this temperature. And so we will make a graph that says the hottest part is this, and the coldest part is this. I don't know because I see three different devices, two of which you own, and they all report the same temperature, or within within a ballpark. Simply. Recalibrated it because it,、uh, what they saw, they thought that it is impossible. What they say, what what they saw,、uh, and they knew from the textbook that、uh, tungsten melts at this temperature. Okay, melting. Let's put it at three thousand five hundred. Recalibrated it, and they lied for themselves not to lose face. It, it is like I was told once: if you want to know how impossible this technology is, you need to go and read a textbook. <laughs> But he can accept that one. Okay. I, I think. I, I know. Yes. Yes. Very difficult. Yeah. Th this is prestigious university result and two. Listen, I know we're nobody. But yes, yes, this yes. this device wasn't brought in. It, it works at everything else. It looks、mm, at. Yes. It, 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 at the very least, it's very interesting that it reports only the wrong temperature for a Mars gas. At the so, very, very so, least. Pr please,、uh, <laughs> he can't accept this. Yes, yes. This fact, I, I know. I know.、Uh, yeah. Then,、uh, but it's good we, news. We, we can、uh, do experiments,、yeah. but uh, don't uh, these results open because. He, I, I mean, at temperature.、Uh, this, this sorry,、SX. sorry. If you're going to ask me to do that, I walk right now. I am a true person. I didn't come here to lie on anyone else's behalf. No, not lie. Even it. Sorry. So the,、uh, this is the data. Yes. People can make of it what they will. Sure. They can tell. They can say we're lying. I don't care if they say we're lying. They can say this guy is a charlatan. He faked this. Somehow he managed to fake two devices that the customer owned that he didn't even know they owned that they independently got, and it reported inline results with this. But I am not going to lie for someone's pride. No, no, not lie. But how can I say? Let let me tell you. Yes. He's calling me a liar. No, and I'm just saying this is a barometer, and your two barometers are saying the same thing.、Yes. I'm not lying, and by keeping to this, pointing at a piece of paper, saying these are prestigious universities. No, no, I please, don't care. Please, please.、Uh, what what I feel as、yes. a thermal engineer,、mm -hmm. what I saw today is definitely contradiction. So either the textbooks are wrong. Or the,、uh, you, you mean、uh, the university, university textbooks are wrong,、mm -hmm. or 
this case is something uh, really incredible yes. properties. There are two choices. Mm -hmm. And in my opinion, what I saw here mm -hmm. with my own eyes, yes. that tungsten was turning into dust, mm -hmm. practically dustified. It means it, it is impossible by standard textbook yes. physics. Mm -hmm. And we all saw it at the same time, that tungsten, with the help of this gas, simply dustified. Mm -hmm. It cannot be done by by our textbooks, so this gas must have some very novel, very new properties. Yes. This is the conclusion. Mm -hmm. All the rest is open to discussion, but this is definite, this is final. I have a PhD in thermal engineering. Mm -hmm. I have never seen anything like that before. Mm -hmm. That's it. あの、有名なね、大学スタッフでもちゃんとかかってこれもこの温度が出てるとただし彼らもこれをこのねあの実験をやってでさっきサーマルはかったでしょあのこっちこちらのサーマルでであの二つともがこれと同じだからまあ三
in nuclear reactor yes. engineering, yes. so I know what I'm talking. What I see here that uh, they, based on their calibration, because <laughs> all devices are, are calibrated on spectral lines, <laughs> two spectral lines. Well, I, I, I'm sorry, I can't. Carry on, carry on. And this is the problem, that uh, they, uh, they based their calibration on the non-textbook uh, calibration lines, and uh, uh, this is where they committed uh, their mistakes. Uh, this is a uh, uh, wide body, uh, uh, this is so-called uh, uh, black body radiation. When you see with your own eye a very bright white uh, line, line. So it's a white line. So you see the full spectrum. Uh, Infrared, uh, visible, red, white, green, all kinds of spectra, and uh, UV, a very wide spectrum. Here they had only two lines. Hmm? They didn't care, nothing else, and that's a problem. But it's not their fault because they were expecting normal physics. You understand? They're prestigious universities, and with normal physics, they didn't make a mistake. Mm -hmm. But they made a mistake for non-normal physics. The, 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 the calibration was wrong, actually. あの、アグリメントなんです。僕は彼のやってることアグリ。ただこの機械が正しいかどうかは別のまあ、あれで。ロンドンどんどん進めてもらっていいことはいいんだけど、ちょっと話をしとかないとお互いあの私はじめじ
借りられんね、取ってのトゥルースやから。それをいやだからそ,それ何べ言われても分かるんでしょ、うん、分かるから分かってるんだから、はい、分かってるの一回チェックされたらどうですかってことに今日分かっておいてそういうことを言ってるだけのことだってこれは私だって分からないもん分からないだから測定ど,どんどんやればいいんですだけどだいぶ違うから持ってきて話したんだからそしたらもう一回じゃあ自分たちも振り返ってチェックしようそれは技,技術者の原点だから、はいはい、それだけのことを言ってるだけなんで。それで資料を彼らが取ったデータはそれはデータでいいんですよ彼らが取ったやつでこの温度になりましたということをなったんだけどだよなったんだけどこの機械が果たしてそうですね調節がうまくいってるかどうかを確認された方がいいんじゃないですかっていうのはこれをもとに僕は喋ったっていうことだけそれそれがいいだけのことですよ難しい話何もしてないだから彼らが今まで取ったデータは彼らはネット上でそれはそれでいいんです,いいですね。いいけどもだよ。いいけどもこういうデータがあるから、これをチェックされたらどうですかっていうのが僕の考えだって。Okay. Uh, you can open your data, right? And he said he got these later data at a very famous university, yes. prestigious university. Yes. So please. He said, Yes. Check this. Uh, well, we did against your devices. <laughs> you return to your country, please. If it's, it's a thousand euros to get it calibrated. But, but please. We shall. We shall. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No problem. You can but you know what? He needs to be congratulated because he really has something special here. He has something really amazing. Please. So uh, you can. You don't have to lie. I, I'm not going to. You're not going to stop me from telling the truth. I see what I see. Please. So I didn't come all yes, this way please, and not sleep for days. In fact, two weeks yes, to but lie. Please, please promise me yeah. you will check. Well, I'm this telling you, it's going to cost a thousand euros. No, no, that cost. No problem. Yeah. Yes. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. No problem. Yes. But you're going to get the same answer, whichever yes, thing so you test I, it with. <laughs> You, you know what you need to do. We can do a simple test. Yes. Right now. Right, right now. Yes. Cut the end off. <laughs> Have you got some Teflon? Teflon. Teflon. Uh, right. Teflon melts mm -hmm. at uh, you know a, a lot lower temperature yes. than 1,700 degrees C. Uh, 200. Uh, yes. So. so get some Teflon. We'll get it incandescent and then try and melt through the Teflon. <laughs> Good idea, but we should... yeah, you know what Shoulders did? He showed that he could turn, um, uh, I think it was alumina, to an amorphous liquid, but it didn't melt beeswax or wax, paraffin wax. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, we, it's only ti titanium. I'm, I'm not so worried about it. Well, I am worried about potential what's in the gas. But... No, is this Teflon or is this uh, uh, nylon? Teflon. 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 Is it Teflon? Teflon. Teflon. Oh, okay, all right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We <laughs> don't I'm just, I, I have to give credit to Shoulders because he, he couldn't even melt paraffin wax, but he could make uh, aluminum, aluminium oxide, or sorry, it was aluminium actually, so that's 700 and something degrees, 706 or 702 degrees centigrade. Aluminium. He could make uh, aluminium melt, but the Evos couldn't make uh, wax. Uh, liquid. <laughs> Hold on. No, 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 pure. No, that will melt that. <laughs> we already know that. <laughs> uh, so, how much battery we got left? Yeah, what were they? Okay, we're okay. Oh, we're on power. That's okay. Let, all right, let me just check what the uh, calibration range is here. He's got something really amazing here. Really, really amazing. Okay, 200, uh, we don't need that high range. We're not gonna go up that high. <laughs> uh, yeah, we need the 1500 to, oh, 150 to 9000. And we hit the record. Okay, my friend, let's turn on the super cool gas. <laughs> Yeah, firstly, try and melt the Teflon. 
Because if this gas is, is at 3,000 degrees C, it should easily melt the Teflon. <laughs> In fact, that's the only test we need to do, by the way. <laughs> oh, hold on. What's the melting point of Teflon? It might be on the threshold. So it might be on the threshold, but let's see how quickly it can melt it. Because their, their data showed, anyway, we will see. Okay. Yeah. And no, no it's, you need to be, oh, oh, no, no, it doesn't get that hot, the flame. Sorry, we need to change the calibration. <sighs> so the, the flame doesn't get to 250 degrees, so, or 150 degrees. So we need to change the calibration tools. Oh, hey, don't stop cheating. Okay. <laughs> I, I want to see it for the first time. <laughs> no, he's not going to burn me with that. I'll just get a mild itch. <laughs> His ass. <laughs> burn my ass. Hold on, where are we going here? Okay, you ready? Okay. This is a moment of truth <laughs> for me. <laughs> scary, scary. <laughs> okay, please. It, it's going to move. It, go on then, go on. Okay. Go on, yeah, yeah. Okay, it melted that. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, it hasn't. <laughs> it just made it go soft. Okay, okay. so it melted that. Oh. Will it cut through it? Oh, hold on. It's glowing hot. <laughs> Look. Apparently, this is 273 <laughs> degrees. And I can touch it with my finger. <laughs> mm, that's a bit weird, isn't it? There's my finger. <laughs> See my finger? And I can touch the plastic. You know, this it's is statically charged. This is static. No, <laughs> this is statically charged. Oh. The Evos have broken. Oh. This is absolutely... I'm looking at this. It's not warm. <laughs> I can touch it with my finger. And... There it is. It's reporting that it's hotter than the flame, which is apparently at what? Mm -hmm. The flame is at 300 and something degrees centigrade? Right, do you want to go and get your, your other thermal imaging, your, your other uh, temperature monitors? Go and get your other temperature monitors. Pardon? He's got the spot temperature. Look, it's not cooling! It's not cooling! <laughs> <laughs> it's not cooling down! <laughs> Because it's an insulator, so the, the charge on there can't come off. Oh. Look, it can't come off, but it's a special charge. Mm -hmm. Look at that. This is a piece of Teflon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. You must work, you know. <laughs> Look, it's hotter than the flame. <laughs> take the flame out of you. I want to see what temperature it is now. Take, take the flame out. Take, take, the flame. take the flame out. It's now hot. It's now cooler than the flame. Turn it off. Okay, so if I can get, if there's moisture in the air, I should be able to get rid of the static. In fact, I, I'm going to try and touch a piece of metal that's grounded. Uh, no, it's not grounded. Okay. Anyway, this is totally weird. <laughs> Now it's at kind of a normal temperature, but look at how bright it's glowing. <laughs> it's it's it, bright, brighter than me now. It says... 40-something uh, degrees. 39 yeah. now. It's down. Okay, that's bizarre. Teflon's not one to be known to stay hot, is it? <laughs> now we can find another... Actually, it's not... It's dust. It's <laughs> dust. Yeah. Carbon dust. Oh, it might be the carbon. Yeah, yeah. It might be the carbon that's hot. Yeah, you're right. The carbon's hot. Okay, this is totally bizarre. I think what happened is there is a small component of normal combustion, and that caused the carbon, and then the carbon got hot and allowed it to burn through. So I, I want to do the titanium test, because with the titanium test, it's not going to be able to affect the Teflon. So let's, let's heat up the, tit the titanium. Okay. And then, yeah, and try and melt through this. Titanium? Yeah. Standard. Yeah, a piece of titanium. Yes. Uh, and? 
and we'll try and heat it until this is hot and then try and use that to cut through this. Heat, heat, heat that up so it's hot, yes. the metal, and, the oh. and then use the metal as a knife to try and cut through this. Uh -huh. This in theory is at 1700 degrees centigrade when it's melting. Oh. Uh, what temperature did it get to when it was cutting? Oh, That's the top of the range on that. Thanks to Mr. Omasa, we can find the interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's, I, think, I think when people take this seriously, they're going to find all kinds of really interesting things. <laughs> By the way, my finger is seriously still tingling. I need to wash that carbon off because oh, there's something in that carbon. Oh, it's, really? Yeah, it's making, my fi it's making my finger hot. I have some of the carbon deposit on my hand and it seems to be making it hot. It only did a surface layer of carbon and then it wouldn't go through. <laughs> the carbon wasn't doing anything, it was just staying there. Anyway, right. See anything with those glasses on? Ah, okay, we're on the right temperature range. Okay. I wanted to go to bed. <laughs> okay, who's got the Teflon? Yeah. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I will put it on, oh no, I need to keep it in shot, don't I? I'll put it on the ground there so you can push against it. Right, don't burn my hand! <laughs> that should be 800 Ds. That, the color temperature of what you're looking at there is 800 degrees. And it's not... <laughs> Oh! Well, that's interesting. That's, a, that, that's carbon exploding. Oh no, he's cut a hole out of it. What? Oh my god. We just, we just made titanium vaporized by having a bit of carbon in the mix. So the Evos are capturing the carbon that are just, just about coming off here and they are doing some sort of fusion and that caused that to explode. That's my, my first guess. This is absolutely astounding. <laughs> it can't cut through this. Yes, that means and, and the it, and Look, it's cut through that titanium. Well, and it cut through after it touched this. But it didn't cut this. <laughs> the temperature is not exceeding the... The melting point of, of this. Kenneth Shoulders was able to turn aluminium, which is 702, 706 degrees centigrade, to a liquid, and it went flowed amorphously, but he could, the same thing couldn't melt paraffin wax, which is 30 something degrees, uh, 38 degrees, or not much higher, than, or around the body temperature. What you've just done is prove Kenneth Shoulders right. But the most fascinating thing was there's no hole in here and whilst we're trying to melt through this, something happened at this point to give it a bit, in my opinion, a little bit of carbon out of this, and, and it caused an explosion that cut through the uh, titanium. Now, I didn't expect that to see that today, and if I was 
if I was tempted to swear, this is the point at which I'd do it, because that is friggin' amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't need to spend a thousand, we don't need to waste a thousand euros on recalibrating this, Mr. Amaza. Seriously, a bit of Teflon did the job. <laughs> Uh, that, isn't that a crime? Is it a crime in most countries to destroy currency? What are we trying to do with it? Uh, we are trying to uh, copper, which has a uh, lower <laughs> melting point. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. Why not? Uh, he's got pliers down here somewhere. He had pliers. Oh no, where's the pliers? Grips. I'm so tired. <laughs> it's okay. This is absolutely incredibly amazing, really. What you just saw there was a bit of carbon coming out of this Teflon at this point. You tried to cut the Teflon. It wasn't cutting the Teflon. He was putting pressure on this. Something came out of the Teflon, fed what was in this titanium, and caused this titanium to explode out of the metal. I rest my case. <laughs> I rest my case. <laughs> <laughs> you just saw fusion then. Oh, really? That's, yeah, that's I, I, this is the only way I can explain it. Yeah. I, I imagine that there'll be, it's so dirty the floor here, but the carbon, which is uh, tri alpha, probably fused to calcium, a whole bunch of carbon atoms, uh -huh. and, and, and released a, a lot of energy and, and, and blew that out. I don't know, that's my guess. Let's see. Okay, so George is suggesting we use copper, which is a lower melting point. Yeah. Uh, do we know it's not uh, steel that's plated in, in copper, which they tend to be these days? Okay. Let's see, let's see. Go on then. <laughs> we have our trusty Teflon. <laughs> Yes. Uh, we're going to try and heat up the coin. Is there any crime to doing that in the... Yeah, is, is it, is it a, an offence to damage currency? Is it? This is scientific object. <laughs> I don't know. You can't deface the Queen in our Royal Britannia. All, all your faults. Yeah. Is your Emperor going to complain? Okay. <laughs> uh, hold on. Okay, all right. Okay. Okay, all right, let's see if we can melt through this. I'm a bit scared we're gonna have another fusion event here. I really should have gloves on or something. Okay, and what damage did we get from something that should be around about 1200 degrees? Not a lot. And what do we see on the coin? where it contacted, it actually burnt through the coin more than it burnt through the Teflon. <laughs> it me melted the coin more than it melted the Teflon. <laughs> I've seen enough, I want some sleep. <laughs> you have something really amazing here, guys. Congratulations. <laughs> Have you seen anything like that, George? No, no, never seen that. <laughs> <laughs> I can die in peace now. I probably yeah. will after handling that, but. <laughs> Nobody has this <laughs> Oh my God, there we go. Can, can you do me a favor and cut that out, please? Okay. And, uh, and uh, cut this piece of Teflon off as well. Okay. Can, you, can you put the coin there, please? Keep my coin. Yeah. Oh my God, look, it, look! It bent. You were putting pressure down. <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> the, the copper, the copper was semi-plastic, and it only did this much damage to this. But this is on. Um... <laughs> <laughs>
You, I'm looking at this right now, and all the, everything in physics is telling me this is impossible. It's just telling me impossible. In, in the case of the titanium, we had an exploding wire event when it touched here, and you literally saw it vaporize the chunks of titanium but barely touched the Teflon. <laughs> in the case of this, <laughs> the copper submitted more <laughs> than the Teflon. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna t I, think, I think we call that a wrap, won't you? <laughs> oh my God, I, I can't imagine a better week of my life uh, scientifically. Uh, thank you for watching this, uh, everybody. Um, this is really...